Have your ghillies ready for hundreds who will perform in next weekend's Scranton St. Patrick's Parade? I'm sure they do. In this week's Eyewitness to History, 2822 photojournalist Joseph Butash and I team up to take you back a dozen years to look at some of the annual rehearsals leading up to Parade Day. For participants in area parades, they put in many, many hours practicing to make sure that they put on a great performance come Parade Day. In this week's Eyewitness to History, with the help of this year's Honorary Grand Marshal, our own Mark Hiller, we go back to March of 2010 for the preparations that were done then for that year's Scranton Parade. It wouldn't be a St. Patrick's Parade without traditional Irish dancing, and these students from Cross Malina School of Dance in Scranton are prepared to dance up a storm Saturday, even if it's raining. The parade committee gave the green light to hold the parade, rain or shine, because so much is at stake. There's such an economic impact, families coming in from out of town. And they'll see Irish step dancers like 18-year-old Shannon Joyce, who's like a big sister to many of the younger Cross Malina dancers. I try to help them learn their steps and make sure they have their ghillies, their soft shoes, that's what the ghillies are, and their hard shoes, and make sure they're all prepared for the dances. <laughs> and you're ready to go tomorrow. Oh yeah, I'm pumped, I'm ready. When we walk by the, the crowds and they're screaming, dance, 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 the kids get excited, I get excited, it's wonderful. The Cross Malina Irish Step Dancers are one of about a half dozen step dancing groups that will be part of the St. Patrick's Parade in Scranton, and this year a record number of pipe bands will perform. Jim Sweeney and about 20 other members of the Greater Scranton Black Diamonds Pipe Band are among them. We have people coming in from all over the country. In fact, one of our pipers is actually driving in from Florida just to play with us. All kinds of music, from bagpipers to marching bands, keeps the crowd entertained and in place. We want the people to be entertained. We want the kids along the route to stay for every minute of the parade, and that's why we really push music. Hoping that and a twist on a popular Irish blessing will translate into success. And may the wind always be at your back in the rain of maybe on somebody else, or someone else's parade. I'm just asking for three hours. In Lackawanna County with this week's Eyewitness to History, I'm Joseph Brutash, 2822 Eyewitness News.